Hey preschool leaders, this video is for April week five and here's the parent cue for this week. Make sure all the kiddos take one of these home upstreet um, pre-K leaders. We will have some over in your classroom. Goes through the memory verse, the basic truth, our key question and bottom line and then also tells our parents what the story is all about this week which is a pretty big important one. And then it gives our parent a little parent cue what to do at home with their kiddos during playtime. So pretty cool. So make sure we hand those parent cues out. And then if you have any leftover memory verse cards for this week, just go ahead and get rid of those two because um, next week it's going to be something different. All right. So um, first of all, I've got your guys' um, small group station set up. So as kids are starting to come in, um, have them say go to the yellow carpet or the orange carpet, red carpet, green carpet. We're going to try to avoid doing the big toys and just keep them on their carpets. Keep it a little um, more organized in here when kiddos are coming in. Also, you have a cool little essential oils diffuser in your room. So just make sure that if you um, get here and I forget to do it, you just have to turn it on by pressing this mist button right here. And then it will start, the light should light up green. You can change the color to whatever color you prefer for the classroom that day. Hopefully that will keep our classroom smelling nice. And then also, we have, hi Henry. Okay, hold on just a second. Also, we got a little powerless vacuum for this classroom. Um, so in between services, first service people, if you could just kind of go through while kids are eating snack and just kind of sweep up the carpet a little bit with that. Um, hopefully that will be quick and easy and that way um, when second service people come in, the room will hopefully look similar to this um, like it does for when first service people come in. All right, so jumping into this week, the intro activity, um, I would just keep kids sitting in their small group areas and it's called planes, trains, and automobiles. So as they're sitting in their small group, the lead teacher can just kind of be standing in the middle and you're just going to say, so guys, we're going to pretend that we need to go on a trip somewhere to tell someone something really important. So what are all of the different ways that we could get there? And then have see, see if the kids can come up with anything. Yeah, maybe we could go on a boat. So let's act like we're on a boat. What sound does that make? Whatever they come up with. All right, that's good. So let's, let's practice it. Okay, let's pretend that we're in a car. What would we do? Hong Kong, let's drive in our car. What about a train? Good job, what about a bus? It's a big bus or a truck, okay? Wow, you guys did a great job. So I thought for a minute that we were actually on a train or an airplane. So you have the kids stand up and put their arms out like an airplane or move their arms, um, you know, like a train motion for that. So today we're gonna hear a story about telling people something very important and I can't wait for you guys to hear what it is. Um, so this week is gonna be chaotic because all of the elementary kids are going down to the downtown room. So um, I would just see whenever you're, um, it's gonna be Jody doing your song. So just whenever she gets in here, that's when you'll go over the song part. Um, so uh, make sure that when you go over your your large group time, your song might be first. I might tell Jody to just come in here first since you guys have a really short intro activity, um, but otherwise she might not be down here until the very end of the video. So anyways, all right, so can you guys tell me who's the best? Yeah, Jesus is the best. And this month, our memory verse tells us that God gave us Jesus. So can you guys practice saying it with me? It's the last week, so you guys should really have it down and then practice saying it a few different times. All right, guys, way to go. I can't believe that today is the last day of April. We've had a great month learning about how Jesus is the best. And today, our Bible story begins with Jesus gathering all of his friends, who he called his disciples, on a mountain. And remember, if you read the Bible, you can be sure it's true. And you can hold up our little Bible in here. Can you guys maybe take that in the hallway? Okay, sorry. Got my distraction. My friend's up here. Okay, so Jesus brought his friends to the mountain because he had a very spe special message for them. So remember, these were his best friends, and they had gone fishing together. So quick, everybody put your arms out like you're going to cast your net out to catch a fish. Can you guys all show me what it would look like? Good job. Okay, you can put your hands back in your lap, sit crisscross applesauce. Good job. So these friends had traveled with Jesus. So quick, everybody put your legs, um, put your leg, pat your legs with your hands and make it sound like you're walking along. Oh, good job, just like that. Okay, good job, put your hands back in your lap, sit crisscross applesauce, very good. So these friends had seen Jesus heal people and love people. So quick, everybody give yourself a hug. 
Oh, good job. Now give your friend sitting next to you a hug. Good job. Okay, put your hands back in your lap. Crisscross applesauce. So they knew that Jesus was God's son and that he was going to be their friend forever, which is why Jesus gathered them on that mountain. He told them that because they knew that Jesus was the best, he wanted them to go and tell everyone everywhere the message that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. And that was it. That was his message. So what do you guys think the disciples did with that message? Do you think they went out and told others about Jesus? Yeah, of course they did. They told everyone that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. And you know what? Jesus has the same message for you and me too. So now that we know Jesus is best, it would be so good if we told our friends about him too. So turn to a friend next to you and say, Jesus is the best. Good job. Now turn to another friend and say, Jesus is the best. That's right. So Jesus is God's son and he is the best. Who's the best? Jesus is the best. That's right. So good job. Let's pray. And then you can lead them in that prayer. And then hopefully Jody will be in here. Or you can watch your video for this week. And then Jody will be in here too soon. So after that, um, upstreet people will go back to their room. And then you're going to do an activity called Pass the Globe. So you just got an inflatable globe that you're going to play with. And you're just going to say, all right, we're going to sit in one big circle. So everybody sit in a big circle. And our story today told us that we should tell everyone everywhere about Jesus. So this, guys, is a globe, and a globe is a model of the whole world that we live in. So we're going to practice our memory verse, and we're going to pass the globe around the circle while we say it to remind us that we should tell people everywhere about Jesus. Are you guys ready? And you're going to pass the verse and say it. Good job, guys. God loves us so much that he sent us Jesus, and we should tell everyone that Jesus is the best. So who's the best? Jesus is the best. That's right. Okay, then you're going to teach the kids a cheer. So for you non cheerleady lead teachers, I'm really sorry, but you're it's gonna be awesome. So, um, I hey Jeremy, are you out there? No, he left. So I'm gonna try to show you what this cheer looks like, and you're just gonna have to bear with me for a second. I think I think I should be on the video. So sorry. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do, and I'm this is so cheerleady ish. So I'm really I apologize, but the kids are gonna love it. It's gonna be good. So you're gonna say. You got your arms, you're going to say, go and tell, go and tell. Who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend? Jesus. Who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend? Jesus. Go and tell, go and tell. Who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend? Jesus, who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend? Jesus. Yay, that's the cheer. Sorry. So they are going to love it, I promise. I know it's kind of cheesy, but they're really going to love it. So you're going to say, guys, we've been learning all month long that Jesus is the best and how he wants to be our friend forever. And I have a super fun cheer to teach you guys. And then you're going to do that. And then say, wow, guys, that was so awesome. It makes me so happy to hear you cheering about something so important. Jesus does want to be your friend forever. And God loved us so much that he sent Jesus. So tell me, who's the best? Jesus is the best. Okay, and then you're going to do their craft. And what their craft is, is they're going to have this cup with the bottom torn off. So this is going to be their megaphone that they're going to make. And then you have these little labels. So each kid is going to put a label on their cup. And then they're going to decorate their cup with stickers. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole craft. So you guys are going to say, we're going to tell everybody about Jesus and how he's the best. And we're going to make a megaphone that's going to help us tell others about Jesus. So first we need to decorate it with our stickers. Good job. Now can you guys hold it up to your mouth and say, Jesus is the best. Good job. So who's the best? Jesus is the best. Yay. And then um, all you got left is your small group. So get kiddos back onto their carpets. And small group leaders, again, just remember you've got three things. Give kids their snack. And then your three things, you're just going to review the story. So Jesus gave all of his friends a very important job in our Bible story today. Do you remember what the important job was? Yeah, he told his friends to tell everyone everywhere how much he loves them. Jesus wants every person in the whole wide world to be his friend forever. Jesus really is the best. So who's the best? Jesus is the best. So review the story. Practice the memory verse. That's this whole part. So it has, see if they can say it by themselves. If they can, then you guys, um, I'll have stickers for you guys to give them. And they can all get a sticker on their hand if they can say it. And then um, the last part, all you're going to do is just pray with them. So you've got your prayer journal in your box. And so just ask if they have prayer requests and just close down to pray. 
So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I know April has been a crazy, crazy month. You guys are phenomenal. Our kids are learning so much. Parents, every single week, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, every single week tell me what amazing leaders we have for our kids. I know for my own kids that we have amazing leaders. So thank you, thank you, thank you for what you do and the effort that you put into this. And um, I know you guys have just been pitching in a lot um, to help out in this, in this classroom with these preschoolers. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. So thank you for serving, and I'll see you on Sunday.